We're Cody and Christina, and over the past couple weeks, we have been exploring the newest state of our travels, Colorado. And well, there isn't much to say other than it has been one of the best places we have ever traveled to. Fall colors aside, the camping has been incredible and the mountains are huge. So come along as we hike and ride some of the best trails in the nation near Silverton, Colorado. We can't wait to return to all of these areas again during peak wildflower season, but for now, enjoy this. We are uh, heading up the Million Dollar Highway right now. We're about two miles south, I guess, of Silverton. I'm going to be heading up to Mullis Pass Summit to start today's ride, which I think is about 12 miles. The ride itself starts six miles from town, so Christina's shuttling me. Well, actually, she just said that I'm shuttling myself. Basically, I'm just driving back. <laughs> She's driving back just so I didn't have to pedal the road. Um, and I believe the trail I'm doing is Bear Creek. Uh, which is supposed to be a really fun ride. The terrain out here I've never really ridden in. Um, it's all really high alpine stuff with loose rocks. I'm really excited. It's just another kind of fun area, new type of terrain to be riding this summer. So I'm super stoked to check it out. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it up to the top of Mola's Pass. Van's down there, about 11,000 feet. So down there, there's Mola's Lake. I'm heading somewhere off that way. I don't really know. It's freezing up here. It's windy. This is the first time we've been cold in a while. But the ride is going to be about 12 miles. Thank you for driving me. Uh, well, you drove yourself, but yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be heading straight back down into town, so it should be a really fun ride. Love you. Love you too. I'll see you. All right. Bye. Man, starting off at 11,000 feet is no joke. I think I'm heading up to 12.5, but look at that view. Little lake, beautiful peaks. No complaints, Colorado. Hey, little rock. Okay. Alrighty guys, I just got down. As you saw, I ended up right at the river. I tried finding an easier way across, but that's about as easy as it's gonna get. So <laughs> I'm gonna take my shoes off, stuff them in my pack and try not to fall. Scratch that. Pack's too small, gotta throw the shoes. See if I can make it. <sighs> Woo! Oh, this stuff hurts to walk on. Ow! <laughs> okay. Oh, we made it. From now on, I'm carrying a freaking towel. On my right, just in case I gotta dry my feet off. But <laughs> now I gotta find my shoes. This one's easy. The other one, somewhere over here. All right, got both shoes. <laughs> All righty, just making it back to Silverton. 11 miles, hour 40. There's the sign for proof that I made it. Wait, it's still small. Oh, windy. Boom. Good morning from the uh, Ice Lakes Trailhead guys, one of our bucket list hikes that I found out about a couple years ago and I've always, always wanted to do. I actually didn't even realize that this hike was in the area we were in until someone told us because I'd never researched it because I just assumed we were never really going to see it. But uh, it's just outside of Silverton, Colorado. Chrissy's sitting in front of the heater because it's 27 degrees outside. We're going to wait a little bit for it to warm up, but we had a lot to pack up. But it uh, should be a pretty long hike, considering the elevation as well. We're at 9,900 feet at the base. I think it's just under four miles to Ice Lake. And then to get to Bonus Island Lake is an extra little bit as well. So 
Should be a long hike. We're going to be suffering just like when we did Broken Top Mountain because we haven't really hiked since. Should be a good day. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. Did you go? We do this every day. <laughs> 10,000 feet. I'm feeling it. It's hard to breathe. <laughs> and uh, the sun's just starting to kind of get into the trees around us. Ow! <laughs> we have found a little ice lake down there. And it looks like to get to actual ice lake, we gotta go up that beast of a section. Progress update. Just hit 12,000 feet. How you feeling? Good. Chrissy's never been this high. This is the only high we get. Huh. So ice lake we were told is just above us. Island lakes down there. Little ice down there. And you can see the trail, how steep it is. And we came from that valley way down there. We have found ice. You guys see that water flowing? Look at that. That's so cool. Oh. I want to eat it. <laughs> we made it to today's high point, about 12,600 feet. Look at that. Island Lake is below us. Guys, remember, we have something better than PBJs. We got egg potato burritos. Oh yeah, check that out. Just made it to Ice Lakes and uh, it's icy. <laughs> it's probably icy. It's too windy. Probably bluer than Crater Lake. Yeah. Good morning guys. What's up? We definitely woke up uh, a little bit sore, I would say, but uh, all be worked out because I'm gonna go on a nice long mountain bike ride today. Christina's gonna hang out and shuttle me again, which I thank you for. Yeah. She's got a bunch of work to do anyway. Uh, but today's actually our last day in Silverton. We are out of groceries. We were pretty much out of water. We don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on basic items in this little town. No, because most of these so. towns, you know, are overpriced, which we obviously know, so. It's gonna be really nice going to Walmart. Yeah, we're gonna be driving through Montrose and then heading up towards uh, Grand Junction and Fruto, which is probably where we're gonna be the uh, remainder of next week. But this campsite's been amazing the past week we've been here. We have full service, mm -hmm. it's right outside of town. But we're just gonna finish up drinking our coffee and we're gonna uh, drive up for the ride. Silverton, uh, the little town that we've been hanging out in is about 60-ish miles north of Durango off the 550 just below Uray and uh, it's one of the older like most well-preserved mining towns that we were told that was built back in like the 1850s through 1902 and there was never a fire that ever went through here so all the original structures and stuff are still here in the saloons.
now that Cody's out on his ride, I get to go to work. So you guys are probably wondering, well, what do I even do? So I'm pretty much, I do a lot of the website and social, social media managing for a church that is out by where we used to live. And I was able to do that job remotely. So I, I absolutely love what I do. I create a lot of different content for them. And I just, I am so fortunate that this is something I can be able to do on the road. Sure.